hello guys in this video i will discuss how to plot taylor diagram using matlab so plotting taylor diagram is actually very easy and i am pretty sure that you will enjoy using matlab to plot taylor diagram and uh, also if you plot taylor diagram to represent your data then you it will be much more effective and you can uh, prepare the result analysis of your study in a more efficient manner so first of all i will discuss about my data so you can be more you can get some more uh, knowledge about that before starting uh, the plot you can see uh, my taylor figure here uh, actually i was using three different type of downscaling and uh, under five different global climatic model of cmip 5 so in my study i was using linear scaling and change factor and distribution mapping downscaling so i was willing to show my linear scaling in single color so i gave blue color to all the linear scaling and different gcm that's for gcm1 is here gcm2 is something somewhere here and gcm3 is under linear scaling is here similarly change factor down scaling there are five gcms so Similarly, I gave uh, red color to change factor down scaling such as uh, plus sign red plus red sign is presenting the change factor uh, one. And similarly, if we go toward uh, distribution mapping, uh, I gave the green color to distribution mapping. So for uh, GCM one, climatic model one of GCM we are going to show it under distribution mapping as a uh, green plus sign so it is here similarly you can also represent your data set according to your study so now i will let you toward my data here is my data sets so you can see there are multiple columns and uh, from the first row you can get uh, an idea because every row is uh, showing some different uh, distance between two columns so just from the first row you can see there are 16 uh, variables or you can see 16 columns in uh, and uh, multiple rows here so there are 16 columns actually but you have you already seen that there are 15 readings so actually it means the first column is having our observed data and other 15 are our calculated data. So we are just comparing our calculated data with our observed data. So that's the purpose of actually Taylor diagram to show the difference you get or how much you are that is closer to your observed data i mean to say your calculated data is uh, how much closer to your observed data so we will move toward our plotting and uh, i will provide its codes in the uh, description you can download your codes and you can use your data set the purpose to tell you about my data is actually that you can use your own data in more effective manner or you can use your data easily without any hesitation or any trouble so first of all open your matlab and uh, uh, after downloading the data keep it or uh, place it any uh, in any folder uh, after placing your uh, the data i mean the codes from the description you can just open your matlab so 
so after uh, opening matlab you can see here is the program files folder uh, so first of all you need to connect the folder uh, this folder uh, to your working folder so your working folder will be the folder you have downloaded from the link of the description of this video so i have placed uh, this uh, folder at my desktop so i will choose here is the folder i have already uh, working work with so i will just click uh, once at retailer for own folder and select this folder so after selecting this folder you can see this directory is changed according to the location of your folder so we will go, go a little bit downward uh, you can see here haroon.m uh, uh, file matlab file you can just double click on it or uh, you can right click and open it and also double click to uh, open this file so you just need to change the uh, file name according to your file name and uh, also you have to change uh, you can see here are 16 predictions I mean first is reference data here and uh, on the downward you can see there are 615 prediction so these total values are uh, 16 so here is, it is saying that prediction 9 is in number 10 column and 10 is 11 column so if you are using few columns or mean few data points data sets so you can just uh, uh, delete the extra if you have let's suppose you are having seven columns so you need to just delete the extra columns uh, from here let's suppose you are using six so first is the reference data and uh, four five till here your data is already completed so uh, you can delete the other uh, residual but in my case i have utilized all 16 columns similarly if you are using six columns so you can choose here six six data points from here okay and there you can see here are the 16 rows and similarly here is also there are 16 rows so if you are using only six prediction or five prediction you can just uh, delete the extra from here after deleting this these are the formulas to calculate standard deviation and, uh, and root mean square deviation and uh, correlation coefficient there are several formulas and you can just uh, name your uh, uh, output or you can say your legends according to this so let's suppose I am just uh, saying that uh, you can go upward. The reference data, let's suppose, is uh, obs OBS observed data. So it is we can take it as observed. So observed, we are comparing linear scaling in one. So I will say that the first uh, uh, here first column is. Uh, second column i mean to say first is actually uh, reference data and the second column is actually my first prediction or linear scaling one so here it is the ls one so similarly you can change its names it is also column wise means your data of first column is linear scaling and your second column is for linear scaling two So you can just a little bit move downward and uh, write your PNG or JPG or whichever format you are willing to download your uh, plot your file. 
so after changing this name or you can also modify your uh, legends you can click on or off or tick you can also change tick marks and etc if you feel any problem in uh, uh, modifying this you can just message me without any hesitation i will guide you further so after doing all these changing changes according to your study you can just click on uh, click all this or you can just only con uh, press control and a to select this all and that then you just click on run button here button and it will start working you can see Get a start uh, working is started and uh, figure one actually this figure one is not its actual name your figure is already saved to your working folder so you can just uh, minimize it or close it and you can find your uh, this figure in your working folder thanks for watching my video if you have any questions or any problem in data plotting or uh, in of other diagram you can just message me i will try to help you as soon as possible thanks for watching goodbye